day 49 and I am doing some more low horn etudes today because I have been listening back to all of my recordings and I'm just not feeling very confident about my low register right now. Part of that is because I keep switching horns and when you play other instruments you like different characteristics of the other instrument but you still like characteristics of your own instrument. So for me Playing my Rico Kuhn, it was a lot easier to actually kind of play low notes, but the con is a little bit more challenging. It has a great low register and sound concept, but the partials just feel really wide. And so sometimes that's not always <laughs> what you're looking for. So I'm going to do the Blazovich. I don't remember if I said this already. The Blazovich Etudes for tuba number seven. And this is really chromatic, so that's good. Oh, I was not ready for that A. That A threw me for a loop. I was like, what note is that? Oh, also, it's really good to be practicing in bass clef because it comes up a lot. And if you can't sight read in bass clef, what are you doing? <laughs> you need to be able to. All right, here we go. Hmm? Oh, that's C. So when I was focusing on that A, it was harder for me to get all the way down into that C. So let's practice that again. Slurred is good. Let's try flower talking. Okay, there was still a little bit of a hesitation there. Uh, part of that was because I was trying to do it fast again in tempo, um, flutter time. So let's try that again. Oh, it didn't happen. That wasn't the problem. All right, let's try to re release some tension. All right, that helped, but it was a little bit tubby. Okay, so not super happy with the C, that, that jump to that C. I find for me, jumping to, from like a low note to like a really low note, a pedal note, is pretty challenging for my face. If I slur it, it's a lot easier, but having to articulate it, somehow my air stream stops just enough for it to mess it up. So that's something that I need to work on. Oh, this next note is a pedal F, which I was just trying to play. So sometimes actually, um, we can get this concept that an F is like really, really, really low and that you have to have like this really large oral cavity size. But sometimes I find that if you focus it a little bit more nasally, it comes out a little bit easier. So let's try that again. Not working. It hates me. So I flutter tongued until I could get that note out and then I was able to articulate it. So let's try that again. So what that's telling me is that my back of my tongue is getting too high or receding or just I don't have enough vibration in my lips. hearing what I'm trying to play. So let's try that again. So definitely flutter tonguing that F helped. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so I, the more I ran out of breath, the harder it was to keep my low notes happening. So let's just start at that second part of the chromatic scale. Okay, so my face is starting to get a little bit tired, which actually makes the more I play in the low register, this is why I need to do it a lot. It kind of like loosens my face too much, but it is also still tiring. It doesn't feel tiring, but my quality of st sound starts going, which is why I need to practice it more. Okay, so I wasn't trying to play slower, but <laughs> my notes weren't responding. Okay, sorry, I have to move my page here. Okay, so when I got down into that A, my vibration wanted to stop. Let me try that again. I knew it was a pedal F, it was the A that I was like just kind of guessing. And part of that is because I am not used to reading the ledger line so low, and I usually just go with like the contour of what the notes are doing, but sometimes it's actually good to know what the notes are. I'm gonna play that one more time. Uh. All right, so this was hard for me, <laughs> but I think that it's probably hard for a lot of people unless you're just like a low horn superstar. <laughs> but this was fun. I hope you try this and have fun doing it. All right, see you tomorrow.